Hey, hi beautiful people. In this video, I will show you how you can use Bootstrap 5 offline in your systems. It's really easy. So first of all, go to the Bootstrap official website. Obviously, right now, the Bootstrap 5 is not ab available by default on front page. So what we have to do, we have to go to this article. It's an official website of Bootstrap, okay? And then click on this link. I will provide this link in description or you can go directly to v5.getbootstrap.com. After that, this is basically a new uh, logo of Bootstrap 5 and it has lots of good features. Uh, and if you want to learn Bootstrap 5 from scratch, I have tutorials about it. You can check out. Link will be in description. All the videos are in Hindi basically. Now, uh, how, how we can use this Bootstrap 5 offline. After this, click, click on download. And here you can see we have compiled CSS and JS. You can download this or you can also have source files. Uh, we will uh, have the compiled uh, CSS and JS. So click on download and it will be downloaded. Downloaded. And if you are somebody who uses internet every time, so in that case you can use CDN. In CDN case, you just include these um, line of codes uh, like this. Here I have included that CSS uh, line, uh, CSS code. And you can see this is the Booster 5 table. Uh, this is a Booster 5 table. But in this video, of course, we are going to use Booster 5 offline. So let me show you how we do it. It's really easy. Now, after clicking on download, uh, clicking on download, you will you will get this type of uh, folder. Okay, take this folder. And we have to basically extract this. I'm putting this folder here. Let's extract it. Extract here. And you will get this type of folder. So open this folder. And inside this folder, there is a CSS file. Open CSS file. And here are lots of files. We need uh, the main.css file. Okay. So this file we need to attach here. Um, basically in our code we have to put the address of that file so let's just put that the put the address of this file bootstrap.min.css okay so i will just directly open my browser control o and i will choose the path of that file so it's a bootstrap.min and just copy the address copy the address and that's it and replace here let me just save and let me show you first so if i refresh oh basically it's automatic so here you can see uh, i'm getting this type of results now just paste that uh, copied url here and save it and you will see the results but it's not working properly why it's not working because we are in a live server or in your case it could be an exam or any other live server okay in this method directly pasting the url will work on those devices which are just uh, for those people who just trying to open the file directly like this okay for them that that thing gonna work but if you are in live server for that case you have to do something else so what you have to do you have to get the address of that file like this okay and just paste it over here replace it save it and that's it and refresh and there you go we have this now uh, basically what i have done here here you can see uh, i just added that server name okay um, in front of that bootstrap folder that's all I have, I have done so thank you so much for watching this watch, watching this video please like share and subscribe if you have any question you can ask me on comment sections 
thank you so much bye take care and of course to make it work properly also include js files and for js file let me just show you which one you have to do, uh, include so here will be a uh, this bootstrap.min.js you have to include this file and you will be able to use bootstrap 5 offline in your computer systems thanks so much bye and link will be description for the bootstrap 5